Hello students, good evening. Um, my apologies, I couldn't make it the last time. So I thought it would actually be uh, more preferable if I make a detailed video and then show you exactly how to go about future trading. The last time we met, which was last week, we talked about um, spot trading, right? We talked about spot trading and this was where we went to when we talked about spot trading right we talked about spot we went to trades hope you didn't forget we went to trades and i told you you could come here and buy and hold any coin right let's say btc usdt you could come here and then just purchase any asset of your choice right any asset of your choice all right that's the fantastic thing about spot trading now, on the other spectrum, we're going to be talking about futures trading tonight, right? So, um, first things first, this is futures trading. Now, what is the difference between um, futures trading and spot trading? It's very easy and simple. Futures trading gives you the ability to use leverage to make more profits in the market, all right? It gives you the ability to use leverage to make more profits. Now, what is leverage? Okay, key things that you must know. One is leverage. Now, what is leverage? Leverage is a multiplier of your position size. Let's say, for example, you want to go into this trade with ten dollars. I'm just going to actually, I'm going to actually transfer from my funding to my USDM futures. Just watch what I'm doing. I'm transferring USDT there. Okay. Um, I think I have money in my spots. So let me use spots. I have $500 in my spots. So I'm just going to transfer $100 to my M futures. Okay? Now, if you don't know how to do this, it's very simple. Simply come here and um, just come to this transfer. Click on it. Click on it and then transfer to M futures, which is this, this guy right here. Which is this guy right here right amazing 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 now um you can see the hundred dollars is already active it's already active here 100 usdt amazing isn't it good now leverage is a multiplier of your position size now what does that mean it means that if we have ten dollars let's say i have ten dollars i want to go into a trade a buy trade with ten dollars if i'm using a leverage of 10x okay it means i'm using a multiplier of 10 meaning um meaning let's say i'm using 10x now i'm using 10x with ten dollars look at it ten dollars right here okay now if i go into a trade with 10x it means now that i am using 100 dollars to trade because 10 times this 10 here 10 times this 10 10 times this 10 is 100 so it now means that i'm going into this trade with 100 dollars but the risk is going to be higher all right now there are two kinds of uh margin the next thing we want to talk about is the margin okay now margin is how much you have this is your margin okay this is your margin this is your margin right here hundred dollars now there are two types of margin we have the isolated and we have the isolated and of course we have the cross margin now cross margin means that if multiple positions are open, let's say you are on three, you are on three trades, three different trades, and they are opened, it means that hundred dollars which we have there will service all the three trades. But if we are on isolated, it means every single trade will bear its own word loss, or bear its own risk. Let me put it that way. All right. So isolated the way from the word isolated, it means. The position size is isolated from the entire margin so if you have hundred dollars as your margin which is your portfolio size your portfolio and you are taking just ten dollars you are isolating ten dollars from hundred dollars 
that's just it but if you're on cross the hundred dollars will service the risk of that ten dollars trade all right so basically that's just the difference between the both of them and it's very simple so right now this is mkr let's see what the mkr chart looks like okay this is what the chart looks like let me go to the daily okay i'm buying let's see i'm just giving you an instance i'm buying so because i am buying my stop loss is going to be underneath okay my stop loss is going to be underneath right good so let me say my stop loss should be 1000 1000 and my take profit should be 1100 all right that's because i am buying this i'm buying with ten dollars in futures buy means long short means sell so we're going to take a buy trade now so i'm just going to click on excuse me go click on buy and then there we go you can see the trade is already running in profit it's just fluctuating it's running in profit already so you can see it this right here is a percentage of profit made all right 2.67 percent so you can see what ten dollars is doing ten dollars can give us ten dollars this year will be hundred percent all right so basically this is just how it works now um i want to take another trade now i want to take another trade i want to take um stx let me take a sell trade this time okay i want to take a sell trade i'll put it on isolated now i'm selling because i'm, I'm bidding on the market to go down right in futures you can buy or sell to make money so i'm placing a short slash sell trade now for the price of this asset to go down all right so i'm going to put my stop loss higher than this current price right here higher than this current price right good now so next thing i want to do is to uh is to put my stop loss above so let me say my stop loss is going to be 0 0.5400 and my take profit will now be lower because i'm bidding that the market wants to come down i'm just trading randomly so that you understand the concept five one zero zero right isn't it good so i'm going to sell this market and you can see a sell a sell signal has been placed you can see a sell signal has been what has been placed which is this mkro was a buy stx is a sell so basically that's just um, how it works all right so so yeah so this was on isolated now if you want to do it on cross it's just the same thing but if you are doing it on cross your your portfolio size has to be large has to be like from two thousand dollars upwards and so on and so forth all right so basically this is how futures works now you understand margin you understand leverage basically that's all you need to understand when you are trading futures now you know where to put your take profit you know where to put your stop loss your take profit is the price the asset will go to and binance will close that trade in your favor stop loss is the price the asset will go to and binance will stop that trade from you losing further all right so basically this is just how these things work and how you as well can you know benefit from this amazing platform all right yeah so i'm going to end this video right now i'm going to end this video please watch this video from the start to the finish practice your trades in the next session i'll drop tons of videos whereby we're going into technical analysis all right, so let's proceed, guys.